this is not being streamed. This is the only way you will find this. You did not miss out if you are not watching this live. This is only being broadcasted. But we have BS versus Seek Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen. A rematch of Winner's Finals. And uh, I would say, uh, I'm gonna reiterate this, is uh, do not look at this video's length uh, because you might be spoiled on what could be a Game 10 set or what could be a uh, Game 5 set. Uh, I think that this definitely could go the distance. This went the distance uh, Winner's Finals. Uh, so uh, we will see who can take it this time as BS open it up with a four stock three lead. Both of these players uh, in that range, like right after PR, uh, trying to get on to uh, PR. And uh, this could be a, a good way to do it. Up throw. Up throw. Forward smash. Forward air. Air. Up throw. Up air. Up air. Yeah, the punish game right now, really strong for BS. Up tilt. Oh, looks like the last hand drop down fair. Nonetheless, BS still taking uh, the early four stocks to lead. Goes a back goal. But a little bit of a tie up there. A little overshoot there, actually making it so that none of those options hit. But Zeke so cleaning up and uh, making a three stocks to two game now. So forward throw gets the shine. Kind of wanted BS to be on the other side of him there. I think that was that sort of shine. Uh, nonetheless, BS getting a nice little combo there with the extensions of those dash attacks. A little extendo and extends a dunking invitational there. BS, no NBA dunk contest there, is uh, dunking him into the stratosphere. Slam dunk uh, with the sword. And uh, has a four, did it himself, a three stocks to one lead. Good grab there. Was waiting for that uh, that uh, up air. Good, there was good Thundercats there. Uh, that put him in the position here where he's gonna get the F smash and he's going to get the kill. BS taking game one. But if you saw our losers finals, it was not an unfamiliar position for Seek to be in. Also went down uh, three stocks to nothing, uh, game one, and had a game two uh, where he was the counter picker. But the early dunk, BS uh, trying to say this is a different ball game right here. Ooh, BS, yeah, with the classic uh, drop down bear edge guard there. It's gonna clean it up, and now he's up four stocks to two again. Yeah, you do not want to lose this game if you're Seek, because then you're gonna have to reverse Rio, and then you have another set left over. Seek, get the kill there. So three stocks to two. Up tilt. Up tilt, up tilt. Forward air, forward air, up throw, up throw. Forward aerial, dare, ooh, the tech, but side beast by accident. And uh, now see you got last stock. Up throw, oh yeah, yes, yes, definitely trying to end it there. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Gonna probably try to tech chase him with that up air, so BS knowing that. Makes him wait and then uh, reads it all the way through. Oh, and gets the dare spike there too. BS just like that is one game away from taking grand finals. So we will see, ladies and gentlemen. Will BS take the most amount of money home and take home Xanadu Legends? Has uh, has started to win Xanadu's uh, Used to used to be a William and Mary regular, and used to used to be in the trenches. Used to used to be Owen too. BS an, BS an inspiring story, really, because uh, BS is not one of your your typical players who uh, you know they already they already are doing good. They're already you know two and two and three and three and two in their first local, and they're you know they're they're one of those players that starts off strong. No, BS was in the trenches. BS had to uh, endure 
Uh, a lot of rough brackets, a lot of going out early uh, at uh, William and Mary, and uh, has uh, elevated his game this year. Uh, started to take Xanadu's start, was starting to come here and, and uh, really make a name for himself, collect some money. And it would be really fitting if uh, BS was to win this in your Legends. Uh, oh. Gonna have to do it here. Uh, either on Yoshi's Story or on FD. Uh, right now, Seek making it look like uh, BS will have to use up the counter pick. Because uh, Seek's solidly in the lead here. Three stocks to two. But uh, Ben trying to make a name for himself as the uh, Xanu Legends uh, winner. Definitely, ha it has to be his first first uh, Xanu Legends win. Uh, I think it would also be Seeks uh, too. So we'll see. He uses Randall slide off there. That was uh, pretty inventive there from BS. But nonetheless, Seeks still up three stocks to one. Ooh, I'll finish. Good tech chase there with that back air, but the slide off fair gonna afford BS a little turnaround there up to 133. Always look for the up B to end it all. Good tech chase there on platforms and uh, BS now only down two stocks to one. Good up throw. The DI there from BS made it a little tricky for to seek to follow up. Was it the uh, up tilt, but uh, Seek jumping out of shield smartly, resetting it back to neutral. Good shine into the dash attack. Just needed that one edge guard, nonetheless. Still gets that up smash, and Seek is on the board. Still a tall task for Seek to overcome, but you always want that first game because uh, it is impossible to do so without. It. But now Seek is gonna have to. Take two games, ladies and gentlemen, on FD. We start out with the classic chain grab. Yes. The iconic Mark chain grab. Absolutely iconic set of punishes that he has. And that down tilt is going to make it a, maybe a iconic first stock for BS. You want to take that first stock to uh, give yourself that momentum. Game four, you know, momentum in this game can turn like a dime. So you want to establish that. I mean, FD of all stages, I feel like it's the most important in this matchup to get the first stock. Because if you're spacey's and you get first stock, all of a sudden Martha's chasing the game, you kind of can uh, horizontally run him over. Uh, but if Marth gets that first stock, then you're chasing the game, and then one bad DI pattern, and you're, you're eating an F smash, or you're eating 60% uh, punish for free. So, it's always tough. Good ledge grab there from Seek, and now Seek all of a sudden with the lead here, despite a first uh, strong first stock from BS. See how he handles it. Ooh, BS not getting the forward smash. Up throw, up tilt. Oh, you're starting to see the light in BS's eyes. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Just needs to clean up this edge guard here. Gets the forward smash kill tied up. We're at halftime, ladies and gentlemen. BS in the lead, two games to one. Oh, down throw. Oh, was looking for that down tilt. Probably ill-advised there, too. Seek was going to be seeking out that ledge. And bad DI there from BS gives Seek a comfortable two stocks to one lead. Up throw. As we start up our chain grab, ladies and gentlemen, good up tilt there. Up air, up air, up air. F smash. Forward air. Down tilt. It's just not getting these down tilts on time is BS. Seek able to sneak on the ledge. And there we go. BS finally just grabbing ledge there, just taking full advantage of the fact that Seek is not going to hit by that down tilt. So we have last stock. Seek possibly on tournament stock does get the up throw. Yeah, the classic run back to as far back into the stage as you can as Fox, and then punish after because you have a really fast run speed. Oh, but the F smash bad DI. This might be it. BS, can he clean it up? No. Gets the up B though. We'll see what happens here. Gets the up throw. Up air, a forward smash, and that is going to be it. B 
Yes, is your Xanadu Legends winner from Winner's oh, Bracket. Yes, cleans it up and takes his first Xanadu Legends. Congratulations to BS. So yeah, BS uh, taking full advantage of uh, his winner's win. Took uh, took to not uh, not taking his uh, winner's bracket position uh, for granted. Uh, you couldn't see it uh, off stream, but uh, BS was practicing this whole time. He wanted to stay warm, wanted to, to take full advantage uh, of the fact that uh, his opponent would be tired and uh, just got out to too insurmountable of a lead uh, for Seek to uh, to come back from and uh, really just didn't let Seek play his game either. Like Seek, Seek's game is uh, just running you over and uh, taking full advantage of uh, Fox uh, as a character. And uh, BS just had really good recoveries and really good uh, like uh, really good plays where he would take full advantage of uh, every stock that he had. Punish game was on point, and uh, because of that, BS is your Xanadu Legends winner. We'll see if we get a little player interview here uh, from BS. Um, okay, I don't think it'll. I don't think it looks like it, but uh, hold on, we'll see. But yeah, thank thank you for uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, to all y'all who are watching the long-form VOD. I do not know whether this will be in the uh, Grand Finals VOD, but nonetheless, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I believe we will not get a player interview, but I would like to say, if you're watching this and you're in the uh, D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, to come out to the next Xanadu Legends, uh, there will be a $200 pot bonus, I believe, uh, the next one, or some sort, some sort of big pop bonus uh, for the next one. Uh, it'll be right around the time of SmashCon too, so should we we should get some uh, out of uh, out of state uh, competitors. Uh, so that should be really fun. Also, speaking of which, uh, I misspoke there. Uh, there is Supernova upcoming, uh, still August eighth to uh, August, uh, I believe, eleventh. Uh, always a fun time. It's Smash Gone just uh, with a rebrand. Uh, still same place, still same events, still uh, a celebration of uh, Smash as a competitive esports. And there will be combo contests. There will be you know bracket for every single game, every single Smash game, including all uh, your other platform fighters. Uh, probably Rivals 2 will will take a big showcase there. And uh, as for us. Uh, upcoming monthlies, there's going to be a DC Maryland Summit coming up uh, that'll be streamed. Uh, it'll be uh, BS will be handling that. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be here to promote. Yeah, probably not be promoting it. But uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for us. Uh, thank you to the Brig uh, for being uh, behind the camera, helping us out with the stream. Thank you to VG Bootcamp uh, for uh, uploading these VODs. Thank you for everyone tuning in to the uh, long form bod and uh, congratulations to BS. BS is your Xanadu Legends July winner. As for, uh, oh, set of the night, uh, I definitely think I would have to, I'd have to say Polch versus uh, Ionis game. Even though it wasn't, I don't think it went the distance, it still was like really entertaining. Both of them going back and forth, really inventive, playing really well. Uh, Ionis game was a treat to watch today. Uh, BS uh, Seek Two Winners Finals could have been could have been that set too, uh, but yeah, I would say that's that's our set of the night. But yeah, this uh, anyway. Thank you for for tuning in uh, to the uh, to this vod. Uh, thank you uh, for watching. Hope you tune in uh, this Wednesday uh, and uh, all upcoming Wednesdays. Uh, we have our melee monthlies or, or sorry, our melee weeklies. Uh, so tune into that, uh, VG Bootcamp. As for me, I will be signing off. Young JL saying peace and adios.